Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start with my August budget. If you can see, today is actually August 9th, so I'm way behind. But check out my all of my July budget reports and my July budget and so you can catch up what, with what I was doing. So let's start planning for August. So the thing that I like about every dollar is that they transfer everything over so you kind of see what was going on. So first things first, I'm going to clear out P1. I'm going to put that, just going to delete that. And then P2, I'm actually also going to delete because I'm not getting paid for the second half of this month because I missed the second half of July and the first week of August so I'm going to just delete that for D I'm going to delete this amount because it's going to be way less miscellaneous income I'm just I'm going to delete this because I didn't plan for it last month so I don't have any miscellaneous income plan for this month either so First thing that I'm gonna do is gonna put the roll. I'm gonna put the rollover amount from July, and that was down here. It was one two five four twenty one. So let's just put that there. One two five four twenty one, and then I'm gonna allocate everything that I had rolled over, and then we're gonna actually start my July. August budget, sorry. So I'm going to leave these. I'm going to leave the savings because most of them are the same. Auto guess on oil, delete missile, delete rollover. Okay, so for groceries, I had 1576 rolled over. Restaurants, I had 60. 17 roll over. I should actually clear everything like auto gas and oil miscellaneous on my savings so I can see where all the 1254 is going, but that's just a bit too much work. Student loans, I'm going to leave those. Trainers, I didn't have anything. Clothing, New York, I had. 223.43 rolled over, 223.43. Miscellaneous shopping, I had 138.34 rolled over. Wisconsin, I had rolled over too. Well, that was a sinking fund, so I can actually delete this because I already had that amount there. Alright, so for Mexico, I can delete most of these things because I came back to the States on July 31st. So August 1st, I was actually back in New York. So I'm going to, can I just delete this entire category? No, I can't. So I have to go through and delete it manually. So delete excursions. Delete food. Delete clothing. I had some clothing rolled over. It was 6160, so I'm going to actually put that in my NYC shopping. So 223.43. That's 285.03. Great. 28503. Okay. Souvenirs did that already. And then these are sinking funds that I had left over, so I'm just going to put this as beauty. No, I'm going to delete the entire group because. I know I'm not going to do my lashes again, whitening, not for a couple more months, nails I'm not going to do again. My nails are actually really messed up because of the acrylics, so I'm going to have to wait until they heal. I don't normally do nails. I think they're so fake. And then here, 
I didn't end up doing any kind of hairstyle for Mexico. I just kind of wore my own hair out. My hair is really curly, so it kind of worked. So all of this, I'm just going to delete and make note that these should be, these should go back into like my regular income. So I'm going to delete this. This is around, wait, let me add up how much it is first. So it's 50 plus 42 plus, is that correct? 50 plus 42 plus 14 plus 18. So it's $124, okay. So if anything, I have that $124 from the beauty sinking funds to pull from. All right, so let's get started on our actual August budget. So for payday, I actually got paid on the 4th of August. So I got paid when I was still in New York. And that was $1,320.60. So I'm just going to add that I received that. This is kind of going to be like a week one plus a budget review, but a planned budget. So I'm going to put those two videos together. So it's 1320 and 60 just because week one has already passed, but I haven't done my budget yet, right? <laughs> so, and then for D, I'm going to plan what I planned for last month which was actually two hundred and thirty dollars so i'm going to put that there and then the roll over so i have five hundred and fifty six dollars and eighty five cents left to budget so this month is a very like a super super tight squeeze okay so i'm going to change my emergency fund to about the actual amount is every month which is 230 Oni is the same, Scotia is the same, FCIB is the same, Smart Save was $240 in July, so it's actually $260 in August. And then Smart Invest would be $240. So I'm just going to switch them over here. Okay, great. Auto gas and oil. Every month I usually allocate $70 for gas. So because I already missed a week, I'm just going to bump it down a little bit to $50 for gas. And then miscellaneous is going to be way down because I'm trying to keep my miscellaneous to zero. But I'm going to put it at $50 just in case anything pops up. And then groceries, I'm actually not going to be buying much for this month because my mom is home and she's taking over all the food. I don't have to buy anything. So my groceries is going to be down. I'm only going to put $50 towards groceries. And that's just for my own personal snacks every now and then. So I have the $15.76 rolled over. So it's going to be $65.76 for groceries. And then restaurants, I'm not trying to go anywhere else for the rest of the month. So I put restaurants at $25 and I have $60 from previous. So that's $85.17 for restaurants I have right now. Um, for my debt, I'm just going to leave those at the minimum. Let's see how we do at the end of the month with that. Clothing New York, it's the same. Miscellaneous shopping, it's the same. Wisconsin. Okay, so let us let me tell you what happened with Wisconsin. Wisconsin will, did not happen. Like, I could not. By the time I came back on the 31st and then to leave to go to Wisconsin on the 4th, it was just too time crunched and, like, a lot of my friends backed out going to Wisconsin, so I couldn't do it because Wisconsin, it really was like the 6th and the 7th. Those were the days that I had what were the most important days. 
and I was leaving on the 7th like I had to get back to New York to leave on the 7th so I had put that $200 there with like wishful thinking so sadly Wisconsin did not happen but those group of friends I have a possible trip to the Dominican Republic with them next year fingers crossed because we've been planning this for like five years now and we have yet to reach so let us see so we're gonna put that as gone Wisconsin did not happen all right so I have some sinking funds to add with my vacation over I have to start thinking about the rest of the year so I have a dentist consultation that I have to do to find out how much it's going to be to start to take out my wisdom teeth, right? All four of them. So I haven't done the consultation yet. I think the consultation is free, but I'm going to start budgeting a good amount of money for that because that's like major operation. They have to put me under anesthesia and everything like that. So I'm going to start budgeting that because I think I'm, I'm trying, I'm hoping to do that by the end of the year I'm hoping to do that so I'm gonna put a hundred dollars for that and then also by the end of the year I'm planning to go see my optician and probably not get new glasses but I want a new prescription so I could order some new frames and a I want to check up that my eyes are going every going all right and I also want to order some new contacts so I'm just gonna put a next hundred dollars for that so these are sinking funds that I'm starting from now and then also in savings I have a savings plan that is due once a year in April and I have to start saving for that so I'm going to put that under a sinking fund. So right now I'm starting to plan for April 2018. So if I had done it correctly, it's around $1,200 that you deposit every year. If I had started from April, the previous April, I would have just had to deposit $100 every month. Right, but I didn't do that. I was kind of slack with that. So now I have to kind of catch up before it's due so this month I'm gonna try and put a hundred and twenty dollars towards that so the goal is one hundred and twenty one thousand two hundred dollars so we're gonna make all three of these a fund so my savings goal for this is one thousand two hundred Um, I don't really have a savings goal for dentists or the eye. I have to actually go there. Well, the dentist, I'd have to actually go to the consultation for my optician. I'd have to look on my previous, but I previously spent, not last year, because I didn't go last year, even though you're supposed to go every year, but I previously spent in 2015. So that is what I have. So I have $260.51 left to budget oh I could have put them on their doctor's visits but nothing is in this one so I'm going to delete this let's see if I should bump up anything All right. so far everything is okay and for this to be the month that I'm not getting a second paycheck it's great that I have $260 left over so that's good so I'm just gonna put these towards debt so that I can get them out of the way let's put 500 will that work out and uh, this would be three just delete it and see what the balance is I think it was three Hundred, three hundred and five and fifty one, three hundred and five and fifty one. So guys, that is everything. It's an every dollar budget. Make sure to, okay, guys. So I kind of forgot that I wanted to do 
an August week one update in the same video. So I had put in all the transactions that I did from August 1st to August 7th. Yeah, 7th. That's the day I came back. So these, I have 17 transactions to post, which is kind of bad when you really think about it because I had 17 transactions in 7 days. That's really bad. So let's start with the Metro card. So when I got back to New York, my unlimited Metro card that I bought in July had expired. There was no money left on it, so I had to add more money to the Metro card. And this one, I kind of worked, I didn't buy a second weekly unlimited. I kind of estimated how much money I would need to get anywhere. So I'm going to put this on their miscellaneous. I put $20.95 on the card. And then because based on the amount that you put, they actually give you like an extra amount. So I think 21 something actually went on the card. And funny enough, I should have just made up my own amount. Because I think this was eight rides because I actually have two dollars and seventy five cents left on that card, which is a ride that I didn't get to use, and it's basically wasted money, which is really kind of sad, but I'm gonna give it to my mom so when she goes up, she can use it and then college spring this is a shoe store, so I bought another pair of heels, and I think something some sort of jewelry for my best friend because I know the heels were like twenty dollars. So I'm going to put this under clothing New York. That was $26.51. And then Michael's. I went to Michael's, bought some stuff for my planner, like some washi and exacto knife because my blade was trash. It needed to be thrown in the trash. So I did that. So that was $48.61. I'm going to put that under miscellaneous shopping because it wasn't closed. And then food. So I kind of went crazy on the food in the last week because I didn't get to eat as much as I wanted to. <laughs> so McDonald's, I remember this day, I was shopping by myself and I just wanted some McDonald's. Like I have an obsession with their McFlurry and we don't have McDonald's here. So I wanted to get a max sorry, I should have gotten a big size. I actually got a snack size and then a regular meal. So this was eight sixty nine. I'm gonna put this under restaurants. Burlington. I did some shopping at Burlington. This was mostly work clothes and then some oh I got my Nikes here, which was great. I've been looking for some classic Nikes. So I'm gonna put one. $180.95 on the Burlington, which is crazy. When the lady told me the amount, I was just like, oh my God. I was so tempted to take some items off, but I knew that this was like the day before I was going to leave that I didn't, I wouldn't get the chance to go shopping again. So I'm like, clearly I wanted all of these things. So let's just pay for it. And then, babe, this is something that I bought for myself. It was 1960. Put it on a miscellaneous. And then back to the food. So most of the food around this time of the month, like the fourth, was when I was with my friend in Long Island. So I was staying at her house and she didn't have any food in her house for some strange reason. So every time we went out, I kind of just paid for the food because she was so nice in Mexico. And she paid for food when we were together, but anything that we had to do like she kind of just paid for it so i said okay i'll do the food so this is wendy's for the two of us and then we had chipotle together this was actually some sort of coupon that she got where it was like a bogo so this was 14.50 burger king for the two of us again 10 30 and then To get back to Manhattan, I had to pay the Long Island Railroad ticket, which was $4. So I'm going to put that under... What did I put the Metro card under? Wait, let me try and see where I put the Metro card so I can just put that under there also. 
Oh, I put the metric card on a miscellaneous. Okay, so I'm just going to put it under miscellaneous. So I had to take the railroad back, which was okay. I mean, it's a train. It's a fancier train than the regular trains. I mean, it's padded. So it has nice comfy seats. So that was okay. That was $4. And then when I got back to New York that same day, I took a bus to go shopping. So that was $2.75. I used cash. I didn't use the Metro card because of something like when you use a metro card you actually get a transfer so if you use a train you get a transfer to a bus within two hours so it was something like i didn't want to take off that 275 off my card because my metro card because i knew i wouldn't get back on the bus within two hours so i didn't want to waste it right so i just wanted to pay the 275 out of pocket so i just did that and then back to shopping so old navy was some I had I got some great deals at Old Navy like they were having 50% off their jeans I got some workout leggings one was for two dollars one was for three dollars like I was trying to price check those leggings and I couldn't and when I went to the cashier and she was like oh my god they're two dollars I was like oh my god sign me up give me all of them I wish I could have gone I wish there were more because those were actually in the clearance section and there weren't a lot of them so I just took up what I could find that would fit me. So that was seventy twenty nine. So clothing in New York is almost like done. I have seven dollars and twenty eight cents and I knew I went over that. And so because I did all this shopping on the same day, like Burlington, Marshalls, Old Navy, I had this huge shopping bag and I was gonna take the bus, but the direction that the GPS was telling me like the bus the bus that I took to get to the mall, it was a running. And this was like 10 o'clock at night. And this is some place that I'm not really familiar with. So I was just like, okay, I'm just going to take an Uber. So that was $12. It was an Uber pool. So can you imagine if I was doing it by myself? Oh my God. So I'm just going to put this on there. Miscellaneous. I really need like a transportation section or something. And then this was not your mother's was back in Long Island my friend she bought a Groupon for us to go to brunch where they had like unlimited drinks so it was like a meal and then unlimited drinks so she bought the Groupon and then what I wanted for brunch was like pancakes and eggs but they didn't have anything on the menu that had all of them together like pancakes with eggs they had pancakes by themselves they had eggs with someone else so I had to get it separate from the Groupon so my eggs because I ordered eggs and cheese in addition to my pancakes was like four dollars something and then they had added the tax so that came up to six dollar fifteen that which I put which I paid for because I was the one that wanted scrambled eggs with cheese with my pancakes right so I'm gonna put that under groceries I mean restaurants and then Michael's, I bought a recollections planner, which is so exciting. And this is the 18-month planner. So that was great. I should have just bought it the first time I went to Michael's. But I was being difficult because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do the happy planner or the recollections. But I'm like, I want to try something new. So I'm going to put that on there, miscellaneous shopping. And then Marshalls was random things. This wasn't even clothing. It was like um, a gift for my coworker that's having a baby, glass Tupperware, things for my hair. It was sad. It wasn't even like a lot of stuff. So this was ninety three eighty one. I wish I could combine clothing New York and miscellaneous shopping together because that would be 57 something dollars. But we're going to just put it in miscellaneous shopping and do that and then Lucy's Cantina so I have a friend in New York that I haven't seen in like six years she's like high school and she normally lives in New York but she was in Florida so she flew back up to see me and her boyfriend not just me I didn't feel too special and we went out for movies and then lunch afterwards so the movies is was twelve dollars because my other friend used some sort of work discount to get it 
movies in New York is super expensive. Like it's sixteen dollars. I think that's crazy. And then lunch at the place brought it up to thirty five dollars. So I'm gonna put this under restaurant. And that is everything. Right now, I have ten dollars left in miscellaneous. Groceries is still kicking. That's great. I'm over budget on restaurants, which is to be expected. I don't expect to spend anything else at any like fancy restaurants for the rest of the month. And then I'm over on shopping, which I knew was gonna happen. I kind of predicted that. And then that is it. So guys, make sure to comment below, subscribe, and please put turn that bell on for your notifications so when i put up my mid month budget report you can be the first one to click on click on it okay guys all right guys see you guys next time bye